Hey folks, Toaster back. I've got a pair of back-to-back uh, -back games I had in the Yag Panther, and I found this thing, I don't know, I play it too aggressively, and um, I've, I've not done very well in it, quite honestly. I've got a win rate that is fairly low, and so um, I'm trying to play it more passively. It, it is a struggle for me. Um, but we are bottom tier and that helps. I'm not expected to do a lot. I find that going up to where that IS-3 is, is just arty bait. And then anybody that's sitting down in this area here is going to spot and kill you. So, of course, I can't sit still for too long. So let's speed it up a little bit because we have to have two replays here. So, um... We're just trying to be patient, but you guys know me and my trigger finger. I do not remain patient for long. So, <laughs> I, I'm guessing about two minutes in here is when I start thinking I need to do something. So, the game's going okay. Nobody's died. It's two and a half minutes in and no one's died. Holy Hannah. So, again, this is two times speed. Just trying to speed things up a little bit. And they have a fair amount on the other side. And we don't have a huge amount on the other side. So we're just looking around for shots. I know this is kind of boring. That's why I'm fast forwarding it. And um, I think I decide now. Yeah, this I pop out here to see if I get lit. And then pull back. And uh, now this is our next bush here. So this bush is actually pretty good. Um, it gives you the ability to shoot stuff further away. And like that LTG, I know he does not expect to get spotted there. So, and I had to be the one spotting him. There was nobody else that could have. So we do spot the conquer. Let's slow it back down to normal speed. And we get a shot in the side turret of the conquer. So that is fantastic. So when you're hitting a tank two tiers higher, it's it's really great. So we're gonna take shots on on our enemy uh, counterpart, and we're just trying to get one more shot. We're able to take him out, and things start getting speeding up a little bit here. <clears throat> Again, it's only four to two. Uh, we have a thousand damage, which isn't bad, especially bottom tier in this tank. So we're going to move up extremely aggressively as usual. This time it just happened to work out. So obviously they've got quite a bit in town. And um, so we're just going to pop into this position and see if... So once we spot somebody, we just kind of back off. We don't need to do anything except for back off. So, we're waiting. Yep, and the STG gets spotted because he fires greedily a second time. After my binos come up, he should not be firing. So, we're spotting stuff, so um, hopefully this IS can get shots. Looking for a shot on the 430, but uh, aim time's not quite quick enough. As you can see, we've basically lost the field, which this this map is really quite bad for that. Um, the The team that spawns in the northeast has a huge advantage. So we're able to spot this SUM-1, and he is looking right at us. But somehow he bounces. This thing doesn't have the greatest armor, but he is using the 250 Alpha gun. So we pick up 496 XP, or excuse me, assist on him. And we're just playing the game slow. Let's speed it up again. We've got two replays to get through, so we're just looking for shots. No, nothing doing and the panther gets spotted so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get shots on him apparently not so we've got 1700 damage on the board and it's eight to eight 
it looks like we've lost the town, so we've got to find a way to win this game at this point. I do have an IS in support, and we have an STRV 103, and he is taking advantage of this poor panther. So that's a lucky snapshot right there. And in the meantime, the enemy team gets cleaned up. I don't know exactly how, but um, the enemy team does get cleaned up. And I, I believe we must have hit one blind shot. I'll show you in the after action. I'll do the after action right after this, and then like I always do, and then we'll do... Nope, I didn't. I take that back. So we hit that 430. And that is the end of the game. 2,100 damage, 1,015 assists. So, but in a bottom tier, that's uh, very good. We're happy with that. Okay, let's take a look at the after action on this, and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, here's the after action on this one. Uh, we ended up with the first class, and we ended up with, uh, let's see, we were not top of the team. We were third place. With 2100 damage, two kills. Looks like our STRV did well and our Object 430 uh, should have done well. So um, 10,000 credits, 10 shots, 8 hits, 8 pins. And um, this was on a 2 times, so we ended up with 2800 XP. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, we're back. Uh, we are bottom tier yet again. We are on. Paris and um, we know that a tortoise has just gotten spotted and see that tree fall nothing really happened in the first minute and a half but that tree fell and I know that tortoise is coming here so I've spotted him and we're just gonna pull back and try and get a shot on him and um, we have standard rounds loaded but that's okay we're just gonna pull forward and use bush mechanics now we're loading our gold rounds and we make sure that the bush is solid and we wait for a nice shot and that one went into the side and it looks like it might have pinned him so we're able to pin him again now this is not a high damage game but when you're bottom tier and you're do doing damage and spotting top tiers you get a lot of XP out of that. And we decide that we're gonna load an HE round. Not, it may not kill him, but it turns out not to matter, he dies. So it's three to three, but one of their top tiers is out already. So they only had, um, let's see, four top tiers to begin with. And so um, that really hurts when one of your top tiers just goes and dies for nothing. So, so here's a second top tier of theirs, and it looks like he is taking it for the team as well. And he goes down, not to us, of course. But I noticed that the Yag Panther and the Super Pershing are pushing, and we eat a shot from the T25 too, but that's okay. Our team is paying attention and we're able to spot those tanks but I don't really want to push them so we're just gonna sit here and see if we can get a shot so AMX 1357 shows up and um, he's putting the herd on our progetto or he's going to the progetto actually goes down to somebody else he goes down to the arty so we're gonna sit here and see if this guy pokes so he's very dangerous to us because we have um, he has like I don't know 720 in his clip and we're down to 594 health and as soon as we move and that camo neck goes away we're spotted even though we are still in the bush so fortunately he hits us for a couple of shots and that's it and um, you know we we pull back because there's really nothing I can do to him he's just got too good a view range so I'm pulling forward just to see if I get spotted here and we do not 
so we're gonna pull up and bush camp and it looks like he's taken off he does not want to stick around here and we're taking some hope shots here So not a whole lot to mention here. I mean, we're just using bush mechanics, so I'm hoping that I can catch him somewhere. So we're gonna pull up to this next bush, and I doubt he'll spot me, and he gets spotted by the T-10, and we're able to lead a nice shot right into him. So that does get us lit, but the T-10 was lit before us, so I feel like he's gonna take RD damage before we will. And so we're going to go ahead and throw a shot into this arty. And we get lucky and we set him on fire and finish him off. So I've, I'm just waiting for a shot because I know this T-10 is going to push in. So not a real flashy game, but um, as you'll see, it was a decent game in the after action report. Pick up another shot. That's 1,300 damage on the board, 862 spotting. Let's take a look at the after action report and see if any of those blind shots went in on that tortoise. Okay, here we are. We got a first class out of that, which didn't seem like a flashy game, but we did end up hitting a blind shot. Put us up to 1,646 damage. Let's see if we sort by XP, we were um, not even near the top. <laughs> But um, 863 is, I guess, good enough for a first class in this thing. Two kills. But more importantly, it's all of the tanks that we shot that were higher tier. 12 shots, 8 hits, 6 pens. That's not surprising in a bottom tier tank. And we ended up with another 1,200 assists. So and we had um, 2,900 combined, whereas we only had... Um, 2100 uh, on the board so that's what brought us up to the first class we lost a few credits but I don't care that was a successful game I hope you guys enjoyed and we will catch you on the next one